Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today we're making a almond croissant. So good. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're visiting with me down on the farm and in my kitchen. I couldn't be happier. I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, give me a thumbs up. And to all my viewers, you know how much I love and appreciate you. And the greatest way you can support my channel is to share my videos on your social media. So we're making almond croissants. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, so we're not really actually making the croissants Because I bought croissants But we're making them almond <laughs> So, um, stay tuned for that but first, I wanted to share with you guys, <clears throat> I got to meet some of my viewers last night. Uh, we went into a little restaurant close by here that I absolutely adore. And when we were there, a young man says, my mom watches your channel. And he pointed over there. And not only does his mom watch my channel, but so I'm assuming it was his sister. His sister, Stella. So April and Stella, thank you so much for having your picture made with me yesterday. I'm going to insert it here in just a minute or I'm going to insert it right now but um thank you guys so much for visiting with me I appreciate it so very much you made my day and the encouragement you gave me you'll never know how much it how much it meant so okay on to the almond croissants okay so we are going to make an almond croissant let me just go ahead and tell you, this week, with the exception of tomorrow, is going to be all spring type, or there are any time desserts, but they really just kind of scream spring to me. So that's probably what we're going to get most of the week this week, with the exception of tomorrow. Let me explain. Um, Jamie, my son-in-law, his grandfather passed away. And so his mom and dad are coming in. Um, the funeral's going to be Tuesday. His mom and dad are coming in, and I am um, going to fix the meal to take over to Caroline's house. And um, so we're just going to film the what's for supper. We're all going to eat over there. Um, so uh, tomorrow will be a what's for dinner type video. Uh, it's, it's, I think, both things I've only fixed once on my channel. Each of them only done once although they haven't been that long ago but we're going to do it again because that's what i'm fixing so tomorrow's video will be a what's for dinner video uh, but today let me tell you i just watched the weather y'all it is february and i know it's a little too early to be talking about spring i get that but y'all next week it's going to be close to 80 here where we're at and so <laughs> my mind is on spring i have uh, you can't see them here, but I have a gorgeous garden of um, buttercups, uh, um, yeah, buttercups, daffodils, um, blooming. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. So, my mind is on spring. So, the next three desserts, which will be today, Thursday, and Friday, is going to be um, spring desserts. And then tomorrow's video will be the what's for dinner. So, we're making almond croissants. I'm gonna grab everything I need. I'll meet you back right here. So let's go over some things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some almonds. Now you don't need this big of a bag, but you need enough to crush up some and make a, an almond meal. Not necessarily an almond flour, but an almond meal. Um, and, and you can do that in several different ways. I did it using my magic bullet shake blender thing you can use a food processor or my original way that I was going to do it was just put them in a bag and take a cast iron frying pan or a 
my rolling pin or whatever and crush them up that way. Um, but I remembered I had the magic bullet and that worked great. So you're gonna need almonds. You're gonna need some vanilla. You're gonna need some lemon zest or uh, I didn't have any lemon zest. I have some limes, but I need them for another um, uh, recipe. So I just did a little bit of the bottled lemon juice. You're gonna need a little bit of flour, some butter, sugar. Oh, the star of the show. The star being the croissants and the almonds. It's a two-way street here. Um, I, did, I think I said sugar and some eggs. So, we're going to get this going, put this thing together. I'm going to make one for you guys this morning and then um, save my filling and everything and make the rest um, later this afternoon for the dinner that we're carrying over there. So, we're just going to make one for you guys this morning, but this recipe does make several. I'll end up with, you know, maybe 10 croissants. Um, so, um, you can make your own croissants. I'm not that smart. So, I just bought some at, you can get them at Sam's, Walmart, wherever you, wherever you shop. You can pick up just some store-bought, good quality croissants. Okay, y'all, so we are going to attempt this with um, the hand mixer. So I'm going to get you guys tilted down here. We may have to break out the stand mixer, but um, your, your butter needs to be good and softened. Oh, and you're going to need some powdered sugar as well. I don't think I mentioned the powdered sugar. So I'm going to get this butter, give it just a little bit of a head start. Get down in there. was eight tablespoons of butter. Eight tablespoons of softened butter. And we're gonna put in a half a cup of sugar. Let's add in our eggs. That'll help make it fluffier. We want to get it almost to a mousse consistency. Okay guys, we have this nice fluffy consistency here. We're not done. We're gonna add in vanilla, about a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, just a, maybe a half a teaspoon of lemon, if that, I think I didn't get all my vanilla out. We're gonna give that a mix. guys and to this I'm going to add in my cup of ground up almonds and a tablespoon of all-purpose flour Now, if you want your t your cream stuff to be completely yellow and not have any of these brown flecks, then use the, the slivered almonds that don't have the skin still on them. But um, I just grabbed a thing of the, um, you know, sliced almonds, and they still have a little bit of the outer skin on them. All right, I'm going to beat this just a little bit more.
I think the little brown flex gives it kind of a nice little rustic look. Um, I don't mind that at all. All right, guys. Let me just give it a little taste. Oh my goodness. That is so good. I have my oven preheating to 350. And so while we wait for that, and before we put our croissant together, um, let me tell you a little bit about how this idea of this recipe came about. If you went with us on our trip <laughs> via YouTube uh, to St. Martin, um, I totally went off the rails as far as um, any kind of uh, watching what I eat. I just wanted to try everything. Now, I know we have almond croissants all over the United States. I know that. They're everywhere. But it's something I have never tried before. And there's something about being on vacation that just makes me adventurous. And so I was being very adventurous. And we went to a bakery and I said, what do you suggest? I want a sweet pastry, what do you suggest? She says, oh, by all means, they're almond croissant. And I got it and oh my goodness, I fell in love with it. So we went back the next day and I got it again. And then I think we went back another time and I purchased two of them. I purchased the two almonds and one chocolate. I believe that's the way it went. Uh, I may, it may have just been one and one, but so delicious, so yummy. I am in love with almond croissants. Now, um, how tonight I'm using this as our dessert. This is going to be our dessert. Um, you could also use this as a morning pastry with some thick sliced bacon and some scrambled eggs and there, there's you a delicious, um, delicious, delicious breakfast. But tonight we're serving it as our dessert. So I'm going to fix this one for you and then put a, some tin foil on this, stick it in the fridge. Oh, oh, I don't think I'll stick it in the refrigerator because I don't want my butter to harden back up. Um, I think I'll just leave it out because um, it won't be that long before I fix them. Um, but yeah, so we're going to make meals and I'm so excited. So you do, I don't know if I mentioned, but you will need some powdered sugar. Um, that is what sends this over the top. Delicious. But, um, okay, let me grab our croissant. We'll put this together. We'll get it in the oven and, um, maybe I can get Bryant to come in here. He's been working, so he'll be dirty. He's been on the farm. He'll be good and dirty, but, uh, what better treat for a hardworking man than an almond croissant? What do you think? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get you guys tilted down here. I have my bacon sheet with some parchment paper. I'm going to take my croissant and just cut it in half. Being careful not to cut my hand. That would not be good. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of our goodness right here and you don't need a lot you just want to put a little bit in here mm -mm 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 -mm. okay so then you just want to put the top back on now you want to take a little bit more of this goodness and spread it on the top just like so Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have some more of our slivered, not slivered, um, sliced almonds. And we are just going to take them and we're going to sprinkle them on top. Okay. So, in a 350 degree oven, this goes for about 15 to 20 minutes. When it comes out, we'll top it really well with some powdered sugar and um, call Bright to come give it a taste. Okay, guys, here it is out of the oven. So, I am just going to, I'm going to go ahead and set it on this plate right here. 
and I'm actually going to set the plate on my cookie sheet. Let me grab another pot holder because this is hot. There's me a little toasted almond. <laughs> I love them. All right. You'll see why I put it on the cookie sheet in just a second. So I'm going to take some powdered sugar here and I've got a little sieve here. I'm just going to scoop and we are going to dust this heavily with powdered sugar. All right. Now we can move our cookie sheet. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Y'all, is that not the most beautiful thing? It looks just like they do in the bakery. I'm so excited. Uh, let me tell you, um, this video, this um, video came, a recipe came from Laura Vitali. One of you guys saw how much I loved this in St. Martin and you told me to go check out hers. So that is what I did. And so it's almost identical to her recipe. So this is not my recipe, um, but I will link her video down in the description. <sighs> but I'm so glad I've learned to make these. Okay, so now all we need is Bryant and Daniel or Daniel. I don't know if Daniel will come in if he's hungry or not, but uh, we'll get them to give this a taste and see if it stacks up to those we had in St. Martin. Okay. Here we go. Look what he's going to get to try. First time she's ever made this. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you, you tasted it in St. Martin, right? That was really good. Okay. So you get to tell me how this stacks up to the one in St. Martin. All right. Got me a fork? Or you want, you do want it? a fork? Yep. I'm going to do it barehanded. No, I did mine barehanded. Oh, you've already tasted it? No, in St. Martin. Oh. Here we go. It's crunchy. Let me put it down so I can cut it. Ugh. I might have should have bit it. That's what I did. I didn't bother with a fork. Okay, here we go. Man, the sound is sound. This sounds really good. Y'all get hear that? <laughs> That's a twelve out of ten. <laughs> that is delicious. A cup of coffee. That's all you need right there without. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little taste. And I guess I'll use a fork since my dirty husband coming in from the farm was all prim and proper and used a fork. Well, yeah, somebody had to. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that. Look at it. Look at look at the filling. Look how moist it is. Mmm. Mm. Y'all. I nailed it. Yeah, she nailed that one. I nailed it. Thank you, Laura Vitale, for that recipe. You oh my try. goodness. Laura Vitale? Mm hmm. It's really good. There you go. That's mm -hmm. the way to eat it. No fork needed. Go. Oh my goodness. Y'all. That, that would be good. a great addition to any breakfast, any brunch. And like I said, tonight I'm using it as our dessert. Yeah. But um, it would definitely be a great breakfast item. <laughs> he had to walk away on that when he got choked too big a bite all right guys well there you have it almond croissants are so easy it could not have been any easier the hardest part <laughs> was making the almond meal and that was nothing i used my magic bullet you could use a food processor like i said it may take you a little while with a rolling pin and bag but it can be done in fact that's what i was gonna do so Y'all, be sure to try this. It is so easy. And what an elegant, elegant dessert or pastry to have on your table. So elegant. Um, makes a farmer look elegant, let me tell you. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all.